In mid-August, stargazers across the Northern Hemisphere are treated to the annual Perced meteor shower. Depending on your location, astronomers and amateurs alike are within telescopic distance of up to 50 shooting stars per hour. Surprisingly, finding an area of Iowa that's dark enough to enjoy the night sky is becoming increasingly difficult. Luckily, just north of Polk County near Mingo, Ashton Observatory has found a patch of dark sky offering visitors a clear view of our solar system. Astronomical time is generally measured by the millennium and its distance by light year. However, in less than two months, the late summer and early fall of 2015 has seen an exciting amount of celestial activity with September's rare total lunar eclipse and August's annual Persid meteor shower. In central Iowa, the Ashton Observatory has provided the perfect venue to enjoy everything that passes through the night sky. We've got two big telescopes um, in the observatory behind us, 16-inch scopes um, that are open every Saturday night from spring to fall for people to um, be able to look through. Virtually equidistant from Des Moines, Ames, Marshalltown, and Newton, the Ashton Observatory attracts stargazers from all around. Maintained in cooperation between Jasper County and the Des Moines Astronomical Society, the observatory is more than a great place to stare into the heavens. The Astronomical Society provides educational outreach to the public. Um, we've got members all the way from, like me, that's kind of a new member, very amateur, to some folks that have been here for years, have studied a lot about astronomy, taught astronomy at college level. If this is your first time ever being here, um, if you could raise your hand up, we have a gift. In the 30 years since the observatory opened, members such as Bruce have been imparting their astronomical wisdom to sky-watching newcomers. And September's total lunar eclipse was the perfect example. The moon will move completely into the dark part of the Earth's shadow, and, and you'll see the moon change from its, its normal bright white color to a probably a, a deep red color. It's going to be a really interesting show. While the lunar eclipse enraptured uninitiated astronomers across the planet, attendees of Bruce's Ashton Observatory eclipse class were exceptionally informed. And, and we talk about bright, brightness as albedo. Bruce covered the eclipse from every conceivable angle, including history, stages, timing, and much more. And since the lecture was luckily a day prior to the eclipse, visitors were given the perfect opportunity to test run their newfound knowledge with astronomical society members waiting outside. Oh wow, yeah, no, that's, that's really bright. Keith Herod is a common participant in the observatory's Saturday sessions. At 63, Keith guesses he has 50 years of stargazing fandom behind him, and he loves sharing his passion, not to mention his telescope, with others. This particular telescope on a clear night should, uh, I should be able to see things down to about 16th magnitude. The human eye runs out at about magnitude 6. Let me put it this way. The 12-inch mirror in here is equivalent to 2,962 of my pupils. On the night of the eclipse, Astronomy devotees like Keith were more than willing to offer their instruments to eager stargazers. And for those who drove out to the observatory, the eclipse gathering will not soon be forgotten. Sadly, if you miss the total lunar eclipse, your next chance won't arrive until 2033. Thankfully, you don't have to wait that long to enjoy the Ashton Observatory as its Saturday sessions continue through the fall.